A luxury Los Angeles mansion worth over $60 million, owned by former Armenian chairman of the State Revenue Committee, Gagi Khachatryan, may soon be confiscated by the United States Department of Justice. The 2,800-square-meter mansion in Hombi Hills was bought by Artyom and Gurgen Khachatryan, the sons of the former State Revenue Committee chair. According to the Justice Department, the property was bought with proceeds from corruption schemes. According to the report, the U.S. Department of Justice filed a lawsuit in the Central District Court of California on Monday, claiming that businessman Sedrak Arustamyan had given a bribe of more than $20 million to Khajatrian and his family in exchange for favorable tax treatment of his business. America's ABC7 TV channel reported today that the criminal case was originally initiated in Armenia in 2020. According to the National Security Service of Armenia, Sedrak Arustamyan, the general director of the Multi Group, owned by Gagik Tsarukyan, had given more than $22 million to Khajatrian in order not to create obstacles for his commercial organizations. The money, according to the U.S. Department of Justice, was directed to the purchase of a private house in Los Angeles. Gagik Khachatryan's sons are the founders of the Galaxy Group. The group of companies includes telecommunication operator Ucom and Yerevan Moore. And in Nagorno-Karabakh, an Azerbaijani military convoy collided with a civilian vehicle, which then crashed into a gorge. The incident took place near to the town of Martakert. The driver and the two passengers were not seriously injured, and their lives are not in danger. And Turkish aviation authorities have not provided Armenian private airline Fly One Armenia access through its airspace to European countries. The airline put out a statement saying that due to the situation, flights to Lyon and Paris will be suspended till mid-June. However, flights to Istanbul will continue. Criticism was levied by many analysts, as Armenia is concurrently providing its airspace to Azerbaijani airliners flying between Baku, Turkey and Nakhijevan and the Armenian parliament convened a special sitting with regards to an amendment bill to the law on local government. The draft bill was adopted in the first reading. According to the draft, if an elected mayor or community leader cannot carry out his or her officer's duties, then the prime minister will have the opportunity to appoint an acting mayor. In Armenia's third largest city of Vanazor, Mayor Mamikon Aslanyan was re-elected in 2021, but was arrested under abuse of power charges and unable to take office. Some have criticized the draft law as a means for the government in Yerevan to get rid of mayors linked with the parliamentary opposition. And finally, in the 50th edition of Insights with Eric Agopian, Eric discusses the current anti-government street protests in Armenia and what his message would be to both the protest leaders and the government. Eric also talks about press freedom in Armenia and the drastic difference between the way the media operates in Armenia and its neighbours.